it's like um, 6.45 in the morning. I am very tired, but I have to run over to the apartment now and start handling shit. But I'll be back and we'll figure out what happened. Stay tuned. Here you go. Just trying to be cool, it didn't work. Disaster has been averted. I got the apartment. I promise I'm helping. I just stopped to film this real quick. But we're waiting on movers now that I feel like are, I feel like they're standing me up for some reason. What time was the original appointment? Nine. I don't know where they're at. I'm texting them right now. I said, um, we good? Cause we got shit to do, motherfucker. Shit don't stop. This dude's a bitch. Well, well bitch ass mover didn't come, which I don't even understand how that works, dude. Don't make no sense. I'm going off about the movers right now. We show up. So now we gotta do this shit ourselves. But, fuck them. Got the apartment. So, now I just gotta move everything upstairs and get the rest of the stuff done for the day. That's it. This is it. This is the last one. Last hotel that I can live in, basically, because we got the motherfucking apartment. I got approved, thank God. I had to pay off a bunch of money I didn't want to have to pay. Definitely an unexpected expense, which I'm not happy about doing. I am definitely happy to have a place, man. It has been, uh, I've been super blessed to travel. I've had a lot of fun on tour, meeting everybody, going around the country, eating all the food, kicking it, buying shoes, smoking joints. Just had a great time, but I am definitely happy to be home. I'm definitely happy to set up a new place and um, you know just get life going back in order. I'm gonna start taking some tattoo appointments here soon, work on a bunch of new artwork, uh, a lot of stuff that I want to do and um, of course you know keep the vlog interesting. So super stoked to have the place. I'm gonna check out of this hotel now in downtown. We got a house is about a mile away from here so we're gonna head down to the apartment, show you guys where we're gonna be living and start unpacking. This is it. New spot. Shit everywhere. Do the tour real quick and put my bag down. This is the kitchen. Got this big ass sink. Washing the veggies. This stove, which I am super excited about. A gas stove. I am so excited. Here will be the sneaker room. You guys will get very familiar with this room. Go pick up some more of these. These are, uh, for those of you that don't know, because I get asked a lot, those are lac shelves from Ikea. This is not even close to enough. It wasn't even close to enough. The last place, spare bathroom, shower, closet, boom. This will be full in no time. I got this panther in the room. Wow. Really get to the, let's see if I can get to the balcony. Balcony. Pretty tight. City. Apparently, Carmelo Anthony used to live right up there. He's out there. Master bedroom. This is where I'll be sleeping. So, same view. Basically, master bathroom. Here and the master closet, which will also probably be very full in no time. That's the new place. Super excited that it's over with. So excited, even though I'm not very excited to unpack, and but I'm gonna be doing it for the next couple of days. Shoes here yet? No internet yet? No TV? No computer? All that stuff still at Sagers. So trying to get it over here as fast as possible. Shoe collection back up. Get an updated shoe shoe room collection video, whatever you want to call it. Get an update of that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unpacking. I have to run to Littleton. I have to run to the shop. Well, weekend already, huh? Yeah. yeah. What's today? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday? Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, everybody. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Mm -hmm. Was that yesterday? I thought it was this morning. 
Yeah. No, it's all good. It sends you. I can give you his number whenever you're ready. Shit, we got the margarita machine. Yeah, buddy. Have you guys used it yet? Yeah. It looks like it has like a. Oh, like a ready light, like a fucking rocket ship. Yeah, it's got like selectors and stuff, and it mm. fucking the head moves around like a goddamn That's robot. So ridiculous. I'm gonna have to have Sager make a margarita when yeah. he gets back. Out here smoking on, on some. Oh, you got a white lighter? Right here. Oh, here's my lighter from yesterday. Perfect. I don't fuck with you know, the white lighters. I don't fuck with the white lighters, man. Why? I don't know. For some reason, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. And then everybody just argues that they're white underneath. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but still. From an economical standpoint, you're kind of getting ripped off. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Because you don't get enough cool graphics. What's up? What's going on? God, this hot as fuck. It's dude. very hot. Damn, y'all. Boost heaven feels more like boost hell. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking roasting you right now. Fire starter. Hey. Was the vlog even live when the fire okay. happened? No. Uh, it's not yeah. even live. At one point, this man almost caught. This almost never happened. It's on the ceiling. Yeah, on the ceiling. oh yeah, you can see it still. So. Uh, Sab, Sab burnt the ceiling. Uh, there's no more holes. <laughs> uh, which one is that? One? Special one off. We're flying the whole crew to Dubai. <laughs> we could buy a mansion for the price of those tickets. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 a piece, yeah, y'all better invest in some fucking oil or something. Work. Look at this. Trying to break down. Phone rings. Fuck yeah. yeah. Pressure's on. What do you do? Call the phone. Answer it. Unglove. Answer the phone. Think tank south. I saw Speak this. the fucking Margaritaville. I mean, I kind of need to see it in operation. What the fuck is this about? That's who the launch it? button, I feel who? like. No, it's red. It's red blinking, meaning somebody fucked it up. No, it's been doing that since I got here. I thought that was like the ready to launch button. No, ready to launch means green. Ready to get Green boosted. means go. Oh, yeah, fair. Something Red's wrong. a power color, man. Oh, I think it's probably because there's no more ice. Oh, it's already broken. We're going to get to put more ice in it. It's the parking guy. What his shoe size was. What parking guy? The guy that walks around getting parking tickets all over downtown Littleton. <laughs> did he, did he answer you? I mean, that's like a bribe. No, I'm not bribing him. Did he, answer? Him. did he answer you? Yeah, he's 12. Ooh. I'm gonna give him some boosts. Really? Yeah, he walks around downtown Littleton all day. I'm gonna be like, yo man, you need to be comfortable when you're walking down here. Yeah. He's got some bunk ass. And you're gonna need to run for the people that try to attack you. Yeah, you like me. You. Chris, open up. I quit smoking. Half for how long? It's been 14 days. 14 days. Yeah. They say it takes two weeks to break a habit. I don't know. Well, I think so it's you're there. more than that. But then I vaped. So, Oof. But that's You're harder. like the new Uncle Buck. No. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm no, you gotta be not more. Where are you with some feet? Oh. Can you get those? Four shots. I didn't know. My wife. She has been I like them. Cool. Yeah. Where'd you get those? I need Jesus. Well, right, back to you stepping on my motherfucking shoes. Whenever you want. He's trying to make margarita. Yeah. I'm trying to get on this margarita. You're just a silhouette in the fucking. In the sun? Yeah. Eating your ice cream. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Off my fork. Yeah. yeah, why aren't you using a spoon? We didn't have any. Uh, crazy. You're full summertime vibing right now. I am. Outside. It's all oiled up. <laughs> Tight or what? Your belly button? Mm hmm. I don't know if it's tight or not. Let me see this thing. Boost o vision. <laughs> Booster. You don't have any yet, right? Anyway, he's resisting. No. You're the only one. He's being right? a little. I wear, I wear vans. He's doing it on fucking purpose. Uh, that's what I do. He's like, I'm the only one. That's yeah. me. 
So, I'm home. The uh, apartment has not been unpacked really uh, too much at all. I'm gonna spend most of the day tomorrow unpacking and getting stuff over here from Sager's house. Now the shop to pick some stuff up and I got, I doubled up on this shoe. Ugh. The other pair must be at Sager's because this is the second. All right, second pair, um, I double up the A16 Kith. Whoa, light. It's been a while. A16 Kith Ultra Boost. I know I'm shooting into light and I have light here. I just don't care right now. Um, comes with a shoehorn. The shoe's actually on my feet still. I forgot. Yeah. Alright, so this is what the shoe looks like. What the shoe looks like. So you have the Kith Flamingo Pink Upper on this bad boy. I would say toe box is more like a 1.0 Ultra Boost. You have 3M white sides, high mid cut sock collar. You have pull tabs on the front and the back, which I don't really love. This is kind of like rabbit ears to me. I wish this kind of just folded over, but again, I didn't make the shoes, so really, that's whatever. It's, I just, it's not my favorite look, but um, kind of looks floppy. But, um, Insole on this one is removable because I know that because mine was all jet. Oh, it's not removable. The insole's stuck in this bitch. Okay, insole is not removable. My bust. I guess you could probably rip it out if you wanted to. There is Kith Flamingo Soccer Football branding on the inside. No Adidas. The fit on these, so this is the first time that I've been able to get a pair of A16s because normally they do not come in my size. I do have a 12 and a half sample that is in a box at Sager's house. Hopefully we'll get to take a look at that soon, probably tomorrow or the next day. I've gotta make sure they're real, check them out first, but um, they, are, they are there, so we'll see. But this is the first pair I've been able to actually get in my size. I love the fit on this shoe. I really, really like all of the mid Ultra Boost uh, fits that just, more comfort for me, you know, more stabilities. Uh, pink colorway is something a lot of people can't really fuck with, I guess. Doesn't bother me, I like it. I think pink looks fine with the all black fit. I'm generally wearing black, so it really doesn't bother me. Uh, this little strip here where laces normally would be, I think they're calling the pure cut, which is a, uh, it's a laceless overlay. But you're still getting some extra support from the pure cut patch. Then there's no overlays or anything, so it's, it's pretty comfortable. You're not feeling anything. Um, no seams or nothing like that. So comfortable ass shoe. Uh, 3M also on the suede. Pull tab on the front. Back has Kith branding on this one. Other one has Adidas branding. White Eel Cup, white Ultra Boost branding, white Boost, white Continental, white Torsen. You know the deal. Um, yeah, these are super sick. These um, were really hyped up when they were coming out. A lot of people were going after them. There were rumors about how many pairs there were. I don't ever know. Again, someone said 500 pairs. I really don't know if that's true, but I got two of them if that is true. And yeah, they're sick. I'd say true to size is good. I'm having a hard time. Like the other, the samples are 12 and a half. So I'm interested, I'm interested to see what the difference is for me. True to size seems good, you know, like 12 and a half almost seems like it might be too small. I don't really know yet. I like this, it's snug. It does have a little bagginess in some areas when they're on feet, but I, I really feel like if I went a size down, they might be too tight. So I don't know if to stay tuned and see how I feel, but resale has plummeted on these. I mean, the first couple of days the resale on these was upwards, you know, $1,800, $700. Now they're around four or 500 bucks. So um, depending on your size, so you should be able to get them. All pink prominent upper. The uh, PK makes a different little pattern. You know, the toe box pattern is different than the mid pattern, which goes to a different pattern in the heel, and then the very back is a different pattern. So that's pretty cool to me. I really like that. Um, but yeah, super sick shoe, definitely. If you're looking to get them, you can get them, but you're gonna pay resale. I wouldn't expect your restock or anything like that. Glad to have them.